Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and behind me is a tractor. It's not the one I'm working on converting to electric right now, but it's the same make and model. Um, I actually came out to this farm to get some Electrac parts uh, from out in that barn there for fixing up some 1970s uh, General Electric built electric lawn and garden tractors. And by chance, I saw this guy's tractor sitting here, and it is, in fact, an International 300 Utility. But let's take a closer look. This is where it gets interesting. So this thing has a nice big front end loader on it, but even better is at the back. Back here it has hydraulic powered feet to hold up the backhoe. This is a 1950s tractor with a nice big backhoe on it. Uh, the owner said that he rebuilt a couple of septic systems with this thing said it more than paid for itself and how much work he's been able to do with this and look at the sizes so this is a, a genuine workhorse and now that covers up the pto back here and i thought where in the heck is the hydraulic pump i'm still trying to figure out the hydraulic pump on the conversion of course it's got a seat that swivels around to run the backhoe but if we look up here it does not have the standard hydraulic pump. It's just got a spacer right here. So I don't know if this was just an earlier model, but remember, there um, on our tractor, there's the pump, and then right after it's the distributor. No pump there. Instead, this one has a front PTO pump. So it looks like there's a shaft that runs straight back, and I believe that just bolts onto the crankshaft pulley. And I don't know if we can see this at all. It looks like it just bolts right on there. Uh, the other interesting thing is all the other, you know, underside of this. Back there, that's for the backhoe, and it comes all the way up to this front bolster. One more thing kind of connecting the front to the back of the tractor. Um, not just the engine as the structural component. But there's the front mount hydraulic pump. And I'm wondering if, what if I could replicate this only with a Nissan Leaf? And I'm not sure exactly how I would do that, but maybe I could space out the electric motor a little bit more from the bell housing. I'd have to get past this, though, I'm, which means coming out quite a bit to be able to drop a cable down and then have a shaft coming out there. And just one other thing to look at while we got this tractor in front of us. Remember, I was hoping I could just replace uh, the structure of the engine with some frame rails from like a Farmall H. And those bolt right on here, which is great. The issue is this part here from the front axle um, gets really close. Now, if you look here, the engine is smaller and it's really just the, um, mostly it's the oil pan that's dropping down below this, and the oil pan is even narrower than the engine. So, you know, this whole bar and the engine, they're kind of shaped around each other. So a lot more room than I have right now. I might need to rethink those uh, frame rails.